another first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. Now the offense lining up first and ten. to the 47. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. He'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't and it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Third down, Ladanian Tomlinson. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line. Well, not good at all. Punt him just 24 yards there. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now, the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field and so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive player. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Jarvis Landry, 79 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And they'll start in a hole here as he's brought down at the 11-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Being chased out left. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Six-time Pro Bowler Calvin Johnson, the intended target. And now it's second down. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. 
Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? going to let him get this one off. We have a whistle and a timeout as they'll try to put him on ice a bit. And they still have two timeouts left. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll set up a throw. Forced out to his left. And that's incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you yeah. know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, level. that's got to stay with it. That's true. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. They'll set up to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. The Ravens on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards and now it's fourth. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, 
I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Moss. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. yards shy of midfield at the 48 give him a couple on the scramble it's second down how about a tip of the cap to the defense they're working against a very mobile quarterback but all day long they've kept him under wraps and on that play they held him to a short game back to throw They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Falcons on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. He'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. They'll drop the throw. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he'll go out of bounds down inside the 15-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Red zone opportunity. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release. And they did force the incomplete pass. And on second and ten now. throw and oh a crusher there as it's intercepted snags it for the pick it's a foot race the 40 past the 20 10 5 and he will bring this back it's a pick six and a raven touchdown that's the story of the game They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. And the lead is now 13. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Atlanta now coming out on the field. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Oh, yeah, 
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete.